In this video, we discuss about decrement operators. Decrement operators are used to decrease a variable's value by 1. Double minus symbol is used as decrement operator. There are two versions of decrement operators. Pre-decremental, it is also called as prefix decrement operator. And second one, post-decremental, also called as post-fix decremental operator. This is the syntax of pre-decrement. If the decrement operator is used before the variable, it will become pre-decremental. Example minus minus a, here a is the variable. Coming to post-decremental, if the decrement operator is used after the variable, it will be treated as post-decrement operator. Example a minus minus. Out of these two decrement operators, post-decrement operator is given first precedence. Then pre-decrement operator is given second precedence. For post-decrement operator, associativity is left to right. And for pre-decrement operator, associativity is right to left. We see an example to demonstrate post-decrement and pre-decrement operators. Here I have taken variable a with value 10. In the first case, we have printed directly a value. In the second case, we have applied pre-decrement operator on a and then we printed a value. And in the third case, we applied a post-decrement operator on a and then we are printing a value. We see output. We got output a value 10 in the first case, a value 9 in the second case, a value 8 in the third case. Initially a value is 10. Whenever we apply decrement operator, pre-decrement operator, its value becomes 9, reduces by 1 and in the third case, 9 value is reduced by 1, its value becomes 8. That means, if we apply in this fashion, both are giving same type of value, that means, sorry, both are decreasing a variable's value by 1. Then where the difference arises? The difference arises when we apply decrement operator in combination with assignment operator or when we apply decrement operator and it is used in an expression. We see those examples. Here I will uncomment this program. Sorry, here I will comment this program. We go for second example. See this example. A is equal to 10. And we have assigned B is equal to minus minus A. Here we have applied decrement operator. And at the same time we are assigning value to B. In such cases, the pre-decrement operator and post-decrement uh, behaves differently. We see what would be the output. Here both values are 9, a is equal to 9 and b is equal to 9. We see how we got this value. Initially a value is 10, b value is initially garbage value and the statement written is b is equal to minus minus a. Similar to increment uh, pre-increment operator. Here a pre-decrement operator, first of all, this pre-decrement operator, this decrement operator is applied on A. This would be the first step. A value becomes 9. Then resultant value of A is passed to B. This would be the second step. Now B value becomes 9. In this fashion, we got A is equal to 9 and B is equal to 9. This statement can be written like this. A is equal to A minus 1. Then B is equal to A. The above statement is equal to these following two statements. Next we go for another one. We use uh, post decrement operator. Sorry, we apply post decrement operator, we see what would be the output. A value is 9, B value is 10. We see how we got these values. 
initially a value is 10 b value contains some garbage value garbage value means an unpredicted value which we don't know the statement is b is equal to a minus minus this is the post decrement operator post decrement operator means first of all value of a is used that means value of a is passed to b this would become first step that means a value is passed to b now b value becomes 10 and then decrement operator is applied on a this would become second step now a value becomes 9 in this fashion we got a is equal to 9 and b is equal to 10 this statement can be written like this b is equal to a then a is equal to a minus 1 the above statement is equal to the following two statements in this fashion pre decrement operator and post decrement operator works